안녕하십니까? 현식과 원장 박정철입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Park j o n g c h e o of Hyo Dental Clinic. Today I want to show you a case where FGG was performed. From number 43 to 45, teeth have been extracted and there is very significant alveolar bone loss. In number 46, There was significant bone loss around the implant and it was determined to remove it. In number 47, it seems like it needs to be removed. And after number 46 removal, I think there may be a need to remove number 47 due to continued alveolar bone loss. But if I were to do that, there will be no teeth whatsoever in the lower right. Therefore, I decided to leave number 47 for now and to restore number 46. GBR was performed to place implant. The GBR results were not as successful. Because alveolar bone was not sufficiently healed, the vestibule was quite low. That was anticipated after implant placement. Prosthesis were delivered, as shown. This is intraoral image after prosthesis delivery. After treatment, The patient complained that there was gingival pain upon teeth brushing or food intake. Number 43 and 44, although very thin, there's a bit of keratinized tissue, but in number 45 and 46, there's a very little keratinized tissue, so the patient has subjective discomfort around that. because the patient complained FGG was decided. APF was done to lower the soft tissue. Partial thickness flap was reflected and it was fixated. From the upper, keratinized tissue were harvested and on the buccal side, it was sutured. As of late, people use bone tack or other means. Whatever you choose, the important thing is to make sure it doesn't move. In order to do FGG, you can utilize a sling suture or horizontal matrix suture. There are many different sutures available. Regardless of the one you choose, what is most important is to make sure that the graft does not move. Copac was added to complete the case. You can check out the surgery via the surgical clip.
팩 준비해줘요. This is two weeks after FGG and suture was removed. I wanted to make the vestibule more deep and provide more keratinized gingiva. However, the overall alveolar bone was resorbed and the vestibule itself was quite limited. So I was not able to restore keratinized tissue as much as I would have liked. This is about 16 days later, and this is after 5 months. This is not a significant amount, but about 1 to 2 millimeters of keratinized tissue was restored, and the subjective symptoms experienced by the patient disappeared. Soreness upon the mastication or teeth brushing was resolved significantly, and this was how case was completed. When vestibule is limited, it is prone to relapse. In the case of using APF only, there are limitations in improving the soft tissue. In the case where keratinized tissue needs to be restored, I often use FGG procedure. This is the end of the lecture on FGG. I'll return with another interesting lecture. Thank you.